At last, you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do, and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades, I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. Mark my words, I am destined to be Sith. It wasn't destiny that brought you here. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. You had better be able to deliver that, Tremel. Leave your doubt at the door. There's no room for it in here, and no time to waste. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Venrin. He's your enemy and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Let him try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly, savage creatures. Be speedy, but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. If they lack the instinct to avoid me, I'll feed them their heads. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. Hold on a moment. Let me get a look at you. Hmm. So you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. Are you saying I haven't earned my way? Please. Everyone knows what Tremel is doing. If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, he might have had a chance. But now... Too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Vemrin. Let's just kill him and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Dorgas. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. I'm going to take what's yours, and then I'm going to kill you. You have no idea the enemy you're making. Coming, Dorgas? Be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other. But accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? I suppose this is sufficient. What are you doing, father? I only just got my war blade, and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here. On her way to becoming Sith. If she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, father. But I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. Don't mind her, she's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? It was nothing I couldn't handle. If he didn't attack, he must not fully comprehend the threat you represent. Good, good. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. 
In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with false sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. So please, just let me stop him. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. You'd better send someone to clean up after me. The slave pens are right there. They have mops. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you pass judgment on the prisoners. One more cheer from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ow, jerk. If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals, too. Dire cat, frog dog, quaking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jailer Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. Let's cut to the chase. No skin off my rump. Now, these three prisoners have been transferred here for your inspection. You gotta interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. I was hoping this would keep me entertained. Ah, fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me. Just do whatever you're gonna do. Let me make this plain as day. If you don't cooperate, I will kill you. I'm not afraid to die. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me. Regale me with the details of your operation. What was your chosen form of murder? I didn't kill him. I was caught before I could pull it off. The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide. Execution or trial by combat. Which do you choose? Neither, actually. She could prove useful. Send her to Imperial Intelligence. I won't work for free. Huh. You spared her. Interesting. Please. I am a fellow Sith. Judge me with an open mind and grant me trial by combat, I beg you. Pipe down, scum. You will speak when spoken to. This part of waste is Davotech. Once a valued Sith champion, until he botched an important mission and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake, and they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. I don't do charity work. Feel the weight of a weapon in your throat. I die a disgrace. Good. I won't have to look at his sad, weathered face anymore. Thank you. Don't mention it. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Brig, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila magnam unya kamna lebek. Come on, who would go to all the trouble of setting you up? Ibi kaknakamak! Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila magnam unya kamna lebek. Ah, he's never wavered from that line. And the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So, what do you decide? 
I don't care if he's innocent or not. Torture him enough and he'll confess. <laughs> Shut up, you fidgety fool. The decision's been made. Ah, well, that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in jails. First, the assassin, Solenz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You assigned her to Imperial intelligence. I commend you, that was excellent thinking. Never waste a potential resource. Thank you, Overseer. I'm glad you approve. What's more important is that Darth Barris would approve. Now, Debotek, the former warrior. He wanted combat, but you struck him down. Perfect. The man was utterly useless. I do not ever choose to waste my time. Once something is used up, it should be eradicated. Lastly, the forger you sent back for more torture even though he seemed innocent. A strong decision. Leave no stone unturned. The ripple from even a tiny stone can flow a great distance. Wow, wow. Look who just turned deep and insightful. It's always best to know beyond any doubt. After all, what is one man's sanity or life versus the fate of the Empire? Hmm. Each time, each prisoner, you made the best possible decision. You may yet be able to challenge Vemrin for Darth Barris's attention. To celebrate? A small reward. Then I'm ready. Let's make our move. Don't be so hasty, Acolyte. There's more that must be done before we expose you to Barris. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames and wait for the beast to come for you. You think that's enough information? How about you tell me about this beast? All you need to know is that it's ferocious and bloodthirsty, and in no way is it a trial for a normal acolyte. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marka Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. Look who's here. Remember me? You need to move out of my way. I put myself in your way, buddy. On purpose. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. <laughs> careful no hold up hold up look i was wrong what they're saying about you totally true so strong i don't want to die ask for no mercy and expect none die like a sith i failed you vemrin we must speak quickly acolyte there isn't much time i may have made a slight miscalculation the beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Corriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Good. I've been waiting for this for a long time. After meeting him, you may find yourself wishing you had more time to prepare. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Consider me warned. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, 
I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. There, Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm at for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? Get to the point. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Femrin. We'll kill him for you. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. So, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I will not stoop to Vemrin's level. No, no, of course not. You're too smart. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, People might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns out dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man. And we're going to have the most potent of allies. Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vimran. I see the upstart, but no sign of Dolgus. Clemrel, Vimran, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Having trouble with Acolyte Vemran, Supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's gonna have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemran has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand. Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your warblade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft. Unholed. Undisciplined. I disagree, emphatically. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. The only code I need to know is kill or be killed. Your ability is undeniable. But your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. As you decree, my lord. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? I'm here to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. What makes you so sure you're going to kill me? 
You're strong, Acolyte, as strong as any I've seen come through the Academy. But you're not Sith yet. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. Watch yourself. No. I'm amazed. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You're getting ahead of yourself. I only need your hand. What? Wait. I think I understand. Aris demands my hand, proof of my death. I don't want your pity, Acolyte. It's not pity. I don't want you to die. I'm a credit to the dark side. My cause is just. You can see clearly, even if Barras cannot. Take my hand. <laughs> well, that didn't tickle. I'll rest and then leave Korriban covertly. That's exactly what's needed. Of course. Goodbye, Acolyte. Rid the Sith of that plague, Vemrin. My hopes fly with you. What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? I did what was called for. You mask your feelings well, as long as you don't suppress them. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the cold and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Hord. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Ord in the Valley of the Dark Lords and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. You... you did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. I didn't even break a sweat. That's all I needed to hear. Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shirak. I barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. I'll save Barris the trouble of listening to your whimpering. Die! The prodigal supplicant returns. And with all the shit.
shards from the tomb of Tulak Ward. Superb. It seems your hopes have been dashed, Veteran. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse Veteran Supplicant. He didn't take kindly to turning those young acolytes on him, even though they were only untrained novices. I hope he's not holding his breath for an apology. A blowhard like him might suffocate. The tension is thick between you two. A great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. You both stand on the precipice of becoming sin. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemran, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. Ignore Vemrin, Lord Varys. His world is crumbling around him. Today, Vemrin is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vemran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant. Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. You honor me. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance, but there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the Forbidden Cave. I will take care of that. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb where Academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Naga Sadao is to breathe in death itself. Ouch! Give it a rest, will ya? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Ah, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Ah. Nice work if you can get it. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. Ha! <laughs> Who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Huh. <laughs> Consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? Jailer, I think she needs a little more juice. All right, one more for the road. Uh, uh, <clears throat> enough! Here, kid, take the shock control color. I'll set it to a high level. Use it enough, she'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play tomb tour guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut. But I did it once, I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. You will do everything I require, and I mean everything. Don't get any twisted ideas in that sithy head of yours. Lead the way. I'll show you the unlocking points throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern is in here. Just let me get my bearings. your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I've finished killing your new master. I can't say I'm surprised to see you, Vemrin. You're remarkably predictable. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now.
becoming Barriss's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity, only to be proven unworthy? You're wasting your time. Just die. <laughs> Wow. Nice work. Just find the Forbidden Cavern. I already have. See? The secret entrance is right here. Here's my thank you, slave. Choke on it. Ah, sorry, sorry! My father was a staunch traditionalist, and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Could you think you could kill him and get away with it? Uh, refresh my memory. I kill many people's fathers. You seek to add insult to injury? I'm Eskla Greiton. My father was overseer Tremel. Remember killing him? I would remember if I'd actually killed him. Do you deny it? Lord Barris has my father's hand. I mercifully took your father's hand instead of his life. What? You took pity on him and now he pretends to be dead? You may not be a murderer, but your mercy proves you're not sick material either. I should inform Lord Barris, but I won't. No, let him discover your softness for himself. My directive is clear now. I must hunt down my gutless father and end his humiliation. You go ahead and do that. I'll be sure to kiss him on the cheek for you. Come on, boys, let's go. I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Venran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He tried and failed. Venrin was nothing if not consistent. Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. I am your humble servant, Master. I bow before you. Rise, my apprentice. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand. We shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Drummond Koss. Meet me at the Citadel there. Tell the Emperor I said hello. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. 
If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Drummond Cross. Mm -hmm. 